Hey guys, in 7.1 we started talking about angles, and in 7.2 we're going to start looking at trigonometry on right triangles. So first up, let's look at this triangle I've got drawn here. It's a right triangle, and we indicate that with the little uh, 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 square in the corner there. And when we use angles, we typically use Greek letters. I'm going to call this angle down here angle theta. Whoops. All right, so we've got angle theta there. And with the three sides of the triangle, we've got the longest side that is across from the 90 degree angle. This is the hypotenuse. And let me make my pen a little smaller. That's the hypotenuse. This side is the side adjacent to theta. And this side over here is the side opposite of theta. And so all the trig functions we're going to look at are defined in terms of opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So the three basic trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, are this. Sine, let me write it a little more neatly, sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. I'm going to abbreviate these. Cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite over adjacent. Now, what these are are just ratios. I left a little extra space down there at the bottom because I want to write this in Sokotoa. Sokotoa. That's how you can remember the sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So Sokotoa is the word to remember there. All right, um, let's just look at an example. Suppose we have a triangle, and it looks like this. I'm just going to freehand it in. I'm not going to spend time making it snap to snap to um, being perfectly straight lines on all of these. Let's say that that's our theta, and we have, let's say it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Uh, this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. Then sine of theta is going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. And from theta, the opposite side is 3, the hypotenuse is 5, so the sine is 3 fifths. The cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. And I'm not writing this correctly. I need to say the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. And the tan of theta is going to be the um, opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 3 over 4. And that's really all there is to uh, what sine, cosine, and tangent are. They're just these ratios. Um, you know, I drew this 3, 4, 5 triangle. If I were to draw another 3, 4, 5 triangle, and I called this theta again, then the sine, cosine, and tangent of that theta down here is going to be the same as this one up here because they're similar triangles, and therefore the ratios are going to be the same. So the reason that it works to define sine, cosine, and tangent just for the angles is because of similar triangles. So let's do uh, one more example of that. All right, I know there's a right, let's say we have a triangle that looks like this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to draw it slightly differently. Let's say it looks like this. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm, this is my right angle, and this is, I'm going to call it alpha, just to be different. And let's say that we know that this side over here is 5, and this side over here is shorter. Let's say this side is 3. 
Well, what's the third side going to be there? Well, to find the third side, we've got to use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, this side is C, so we know C squared is 3 squared plus 5 squared. So that's 25 plus 9 is 34. So C is the square root of 34. All right, so if I wanted to find sine, cosine, and tangent of this, wait, I called it alpha. The sine is going to be, well, let's label this. C is my hypotenuse. From alpha, 3 is the adjacent side, and 5 is the opposite. So sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be 5 over 3. So notice, when you're determining which side is opposite or adjacent, that always depends on where your angle is. If I had, um, let's say I'd put this angle over here. Let's call that beta for that angle. Well, from beta, um, this is still the hypotenuse, but now the angle beta here has 5 as its adjacent and 3 as its opposite. So the if I wanted to find the sine of beta, sine of beta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so 3 over root 34. Cosine of beta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, the side adjacent to beta is 5, and the hypotenuse is root 34. And the tangent of beta is opposite over adjacent. Well, from, from uh, beta, opposite is 3 and adjacent is 5. So just looking at this triangle, we can get this. Notice, um, when we go from alpha to beta, the sine and cosine, they swapped places. That's where the name cosine comes from. Cosine means, uh, or the, the etymology of it is, it's the sine of the... Um, complementary angle or the complementary sine. And these two angles are complementary over here because they, they have to add up to 90 degrees. So anyway, that's all there is to finding sine and cosine and tangent of uh, angles if they're given to you in a triangle. Uh, I want to look at some more examples, but we're going to save that for the next uh, video.